So this is the Philco radio that I got, and you can see the lamination has fallen off. It's in horrible condition. Plugged it in, the speakers still work. The tubes are all bad in it, from what I could tell. You can see how bad of condition this thing is in. The, the buttons were still there, and the, you can actually see the writing is still on it. It was actually stored pretty well. There was no rot. The wood wasn't falling, wasn't rotting out of it, but all the laminate had come loose. The, the finish was peeling off. I think the insides and the guts of these things are pretty cool to look at. I actually still have all the parts. I wanted to try and do a steampunk piece someday. So I peeled the laminate off that was hanging off. And my first thought was to save that Philco in the front. But it turned out that the laminate was too bad and it just kept falling apart and peeling off more and more. So I ended up taking it off eventually. You can see I started painting it hoping that I was going to save that piece. So that's just a high, high gloss gray paint. Then I did three coats of the chalkboard paint on the sides. So all the black you see is chalkboard. This is my first time using LED lights. And this is me getting the box from Amazon and just pushing buttons to see what happens. I absolutely love this set of lights from Amazon. It's a, it's a great kit. I got two spools and the remote at a really good price. So guys, not only did I put the LEDs in, I also put in a, a Bluetooth speaker so you can listen to music. And I put in a power strip to plug the LED lights, the Bluetooth speaker, and a charging port in the front. So there it is, lit up for the very first time at night in my shop. Because I was working on this pretty much 24 hours a day whenever I had time to get out there. Um, you can see I've got kids right on it and the, and the students right on it when they came by to see me at the Maker's Fair. So I got all kinds of cool drawings on there. And it's chalkboard paint, so it wipes off. So, didn't turn out too bad for my very first big upcycled project. I'm pretty proud of this one, guys. Have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe.